face to face with Jesus. When you meet Jesus face to face, meaning there are things that will, will quit in your life, there are things that will stop happening in your life. You need to meet Jesus face to face. You can ask yourself, can you meet Jesus face to face? Yes, according to Matthew 5, verse 8, the Bible says that blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. We can only see God uh, by being in the spirit, by being pure. According to John 4, verse 24, the Bible says that God is a spirit. Those who worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. So see Jesus face to face. If you are a sinner, you have seen, you want to see Jesus face to face. Something bad will happen upon your life. Something will come upon your life so that it may change you. Uh, in uh, Act 9, uh, beginning from 1 to going down, you understand that he, when Paul was approaching Damascus, at that moment he was so, he was approaching Damascus, the light struck him down and he heard the voice saying so, so. Then he said, who are you Lord? Then he, the Lord said, uh, I'm Jesus you are persecuting. How did Paul, how did so perceive that it was the Lord because the voice was the voice of the God. So when he met it, God, Jesus face to face, he stopped, he quitted uh, uh, persecuting the church. Then he began to do the things of God. Meeting with God face to face. Uh, Luke 2 verse 26, the Bible says that somebody was promised that he shall not die until he sees the salvation. On Luke 2 uh, verse, 20, uh, verse 30, the Bible says that he said, my eyes have seen the salvation, now I can die in peace. So do not die, minus seeing the salvation. This salvation is seeing God uh, face to face. How do you see God face to face? Uh, in Luke um in Luke 23, verse 42, somebody was crucified with the, the Lord face to face. Then he told other criminal that, don't you fear God? Then he said that, remember me, when you come as a king, when you come as a king, Rika Badoja, then that person was told that today I'm going to be with you in paradise. So meeting with God face to face, when Jesus is with you face to face, um, I'm telling you the truth, the death will be no more. In uh, John 11, verse 11, he said that I have to go and wake my brother up. In John 11, verse 32, they said that if you are only here, our brother couldn't have died. The presence of you is something else. The presence of you is life. How do I know that it is life? John 14 verse 6, the Bible says that I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Then John 14 verse 12, he said that you shall do greater things than what I did. So where is God today? God today is the way. The Bible says in John 1 verse 1 that in the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God, and God doesn't change his weight. He was the word which later became to, uh, the fresh according to John 1 verse uh, 2. Uh, verse 14 is the word that later became the fresh so we can see God face to face through his word. How am I know how, how, how am, am I saying through his word? Because in Second Timothy 3 verse 16 he said that yeah, all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. So the scriptures are the breath of God and God is the word. So you need to see Jesus face to face. When you see Jesus face to face, then the problem will be solved. In Daniel 3 verse 20, uh, beginning from 23 to 24, you understand that Nebuchadnezzar saw the Lord face to face. He saw the fourth person. Then he said that uh, all every person should worship the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So they saw God face to face. In Daniel 5, Belshazzar saw the hand of God face to face. After seeing it, then he died because he used uh, the things of the temple. He used the things of God for granted uh, in um, in uh, Daniel 6 verse 16, you understand that that was the time when they could they saw uh, Daniel in the pit of the lion but the lion could not eat him. Why? Because the lion, that lion was the lion of tribe of Judah. So they saw Jesus uh, face to face in Exodus 3 verse 5. He was told that take off your standards for the place where you are standing is the holy ground. The, the bush was in fire but uh, the glasses was not catching fire. Why? Because it was God. God, he said that I'm the consuming fire seeing God face to face. When you see God face to face, your life will change. Uh, in, uh, in Genesis 16, uh, beginning from 12, you understand that there, that was the time when Eger, the slave of Sarai, saw the Lord. Then he named the place that the Lord who sees me, the, 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 the Lord who sees me, seeing God uh, face to face. You understand that Jacob, when he reached at Penal, he saw the Lord face to face. Then he began to fight with the Lord. Then he, the, the angel said, uh, the angel appeared in the form of God, say that him. What is your name? Then he said that he, I'm Jacob. Then he said from today, your name will be Israel. In Exodus 12, you understand that that was the time when the Lord passes over. Each time when Moses performed a miracle, Pharaoh could tell him that he, I will let you go. But he could not let him go. When the Lord passes over, when the Lord uh, manifests face to face with Pharaoh, the Bible said that all the firstborn died. When they tried to follow him, then they, they said, uh, the Egyptian you are seeing today in Exodus 12, uh, Exodus 14 verse 13, you shall see them no more 
Why? Because the Lord himself is operating, seeing God face to face. You need to see God face to face. When you see God face to face, your life will change. The Bible says that when he comes, in Revelation 1 verse 6, 7, when he comes, every eye shall see him. I'm praying that God should appear. I'm praying that God should manifest. I'm praying that he, your life should change. You should see God face to face, then your life is going to change. Moses saw a lot of things. As he was seeing them, he said it was not enough. Then he told the Lord that at this moment, I want to see you now face to face. Then Moses see the back of the Lord. Then it is recorded that from that time, no but as he, as he spoken to God directly, Moses did. He could see God face to face. That's the reason why at the mountain of Galatians, he was the one.